Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about NBA 2K20, of course, but today we're going to be talking about parks, neighborhoods, affiliations, rep rewards, WNBA, what that means for the 2K League, and other things. So, I know a lot of people are probably going to say, hey man, it sounds like you're going to be speculating a whole lot in this video. Where's the info? So, Ronnie 2K is very active on his social media. He's active on Instagram on his stories. He's active on posts. He's active in the comment sections on Instagram. He's also very active on his Twitter as far as like streaming on caffeine. He's very active when he does interviews with media outlets. Now, this is the big thing that you guys have to understand. As someone with my type of YouTube channel, I love news season. I love the anticipation. I love the rhetoric of, you know, spitballing with people on what may come down the road. I love hearing about actual news that drops. I love hearing speculation videos because sometimes as a consumer, I do want better. But I know as a content creator, a company is only going to go as far as it needs to go to make the game profitable. So what I want to talk to you guys today about is Ronnie 2K in his recent interview with, I think it's like Cheddar Esports or something like that. They did like a, a very long Twitch stream. But what I was able to do was I was able to get that Twitch stream, download it and cut up a part of Ronnie 2K's interview and he talked about a lot of things he wasn't supposed to talk about because they kind of was forcing his hand. So what we're going to do is every time that Ronnie 2K talks about something, I'm going to cut back on screen to you guys so we can talk about it. But before I do that, make sure you guys hit that like button on this video. 3,000 likes for sure. And if you want some merch, make sure you guys check out the link inside the description. Let's get into the video. Aja Wilson and Zion Williamson are also in the trailer, both young stars. So why incorporate them on so early on in the game? Yeah, I mean, this year is all about welcome to the next, um, the next game, the next evolution, the next chapter. Um, and so Zion Williamson is obviously one of the biggest stories to hit the NBA in years. Um, so he, it's very exciting uh, for him to be joining the league and He'll be in our game next year, so we, you know, we wanted to focus on him, of course. And then uh, there's other things going on in that trailer uh, that we'll talk more about. I'm sure that everybody wants to know, but it's so early in our campaign. You know, we're over two months away from the game launching, um, and so we have so many more stories to tell, and there'll be more about uh, that second person you asked me about in a little bit. From that first portion of the interview, you guys seen what Ryan 2K did. He deflected immediately because he did not want to step into the WNBA realm. Now, as a consumer, it's cool. They're bringing the WNBA in. They're going to be selling more copies to WNBA fans of that franchise, of that sport. But... What Ronnie didn't want to do was he didn't want to talk about what the WNBA could bring to 2K as far as competitive gaming and as far as online rioting, as, as someone would put it. Because what I've seen in a lot of my recent comments, and I don't know why, a lot of people are not cool with the WNBA coming into NBA 2K20. I don't know why that is. I don't know why people aren't embracing the WNBA. Like it's not basketball. Like it's not associated with the NBA. I mean, it's just like this. If the G League came into 2K and y'all was playing with G League characters, would y'all be mad then? Like it, some, for some reason, I'm just not understanding why people are mad that the WNBA will be implemented into 2K20. Now, funny thing. Uh, for WNBA to be implemented into NBA 2K20 as the first year, they need to knock this out the park. So what they need to do is they need to have the WNBA, my career. They need to have women able to play online. I'm talking about female characters versus male characters in the stage at the park and um, 2K events. But what I think they should do for Pro-Am and Rec I think that they should separate them and build up the WNBA 2K League. Now, I know you guys are like, yo, he just stepped on a big behind cockroach. I want to hear all the juice. Let me let you guys hear another clip from Ronnie 2K before we hop into that. But the NBA 2K also has a sizable woman gamer fan base, right? So is there, well, what is the 
point on the refined focus here for in making sure that you guys are appealing to more female fans more now than ever before and of course the twitch chat is popping off they want to know can they play with wnba teams in 2k20 i guess we'll just have to wait and see it's a little bit earlier to talk about but of course there is a focus on women gaming um you know our first ever player to the 2k league in chiquita on the warriors gaming squad who like i said has been winning every tournament um for the last few months uh it's, it's excited to have her just be kind of an ambassador and pioneer and you know it could lead to the again to the next what, what is the next evolution of women in the game there she is of course chiquita um and so we're fully expecting you know to continue to evolve how women are placed in nba 2k all right now that we are back did you hear what he said he said that he is ready to explore. They already have this already planned out. I bet you this is like a three-year plan. They want to see more women in gaming. They want to see more like girl gamers, women, like whatever y'all term y'all love to call yourselves. Because I will not call y'all out y'all name. They want y'all to play 2K. They want y'all to probably build up y'all female character with your face scan and they probably are going to start a competitive league for the WNBA. I've seen a lot of things stirred up on social media as far as the WNBA not getting what they deserve as far as travel, pay, things of that nature. I even have heard that some women say that some of them are better than the guys but aren't earning as much as them or don't reap the benefits of what the NBA has to bring to the table as far as contracts, travel, you know, all the extra added things and that. So when I think about Chiquita and how she got drafted, the first female in the 2K league, it dawned on me to say, okay, they drafted her to a league, okay, but why didn't they have more women in the 2K league? Why didn't they make it more diverse? You know what I mean? And a light bulb went off in my head and said, I know that they wanted to get the WNBA contract for their game for 2K20. And they accomplished that because I made a video months ago talking about the WNBA getting face scanned and body scanned because of a leak from a player from the Atlanta Dream. But what I didn't realize is that I didn't even think about the competitive space and where they could take that because... Yes, Chiquita has been doing great in a bunch of the tournaments that she's been playing. She's about to tr possibly get a, a SB. It's, it's a whole bunch of stuff going on right now with women in gaming and especially with esports in women. So it's like it's insane to see and think that in the next year or two, you'll have the WNBA 2K League. Like, are y'all are feeling the same way that I feel right now with, like, processing all of that information with Ronnie, not specifically talking about the WNBA, saying that, you know, we'll talk about that player a little bit later in the, the weeks to come and all of that information. So I'm thinking, like, honestly, I think that they're going to have, the of course, the, the play now, 5v5. I'm not sure if they got the contracts for like all the historic teams in the WNBA. That'd be insane. Like, give me, give me like a crazy Lisa Leslie. That'd be fire. But you know what? Let's get into some more information because I can go on a tangent about certain things and, and speculation. So let's get back to the facts real quick. Expect from NBA 2K20 in the new future, near future. I know that a lot of people are asking about parks. Is the parks going to be updated? Or yep. Park affiliations, and when will everyone know the news for these updates? I mean, man, like we just announced the covers yesterday. Everybody's going to like, like chill on the covers for a second. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, obviously, the lots of news to come. Sorry, this, this headphones are driving me crazy. Um, lots of news to come still, uh, and it really. Our, our core authentic thing that I'm really excited about is the gameplay. At the end of the day, we're a basketball game and we got to be stay true to the core of basketball. So I'm really excited about all the advancements we've had in gameplay. And you, you spoke about a bunch of them earlier, Aaron, like uh, thinking about the way that uh, archetypes are built and uh, how we create that, you know, my player experience. I'm really excited. I just think it's going to be more authentic to the NBA. The park and all and the neighborhood and all, all of the things that we've really gotten excited about for the last couple of years, uh, we really want to stay true and core to the authentic level of basketball. So I think that that is going to be 
uh, a massive focus. And then all these you new know, next storylines, 200 players removed uh, in free agency. Um, so all these new players and new spots, that's going to be a lot of fun. But we are still over two months away, and there's going to be um, more than weekly feature discussions coming up. I mean, we're, we're two months away, which is a long time in our universe, but it'll be here before you know it. And every you know week we'll have something to discuss that's new and exciting about NBA 2K20. Okay, so that was a lot to process. If you need to rewatch that, I, I expect you to drag the video back a little bit. Just watch, watch Ronnie's 2K's uh, answer again to that question. They specifically asked him about updates to the park and everything like that. The first thing that Ronnie 2K said was, yup. So we already know that the parks will get updated, but he said, she said parks and he said, yup. So that right there can go into a big, big tangent about will there be separate parks? Or is Ronnie just talking about the neighborhood experience as a whole? But did you see the way he pivot straight into gameplay, even though we are so far out from gameplay? And he talked about how we need to keep it authentic to the way basketball is actually played. And when I when I think about things like that, it makes me go back to this 2K League. They want to get more eyes on the 2K League, of course. So when they talk about authentic basketball, that's what they mean. They want to see a 5v5 team. They want to see a group of players come together and profits. It's all about profits. You want to profit. You want to make sure that you can, you can actually hire people and, you know, get people jobs where they can take care of their families and everything like that. It's a big esports commerce right now. Like a lot of people are thinking about how much money can be made in esports, especially when esports has to deal with sports gaming. So after Ronnie pivoted the gameplay, he talked about how true he wants it to, to stay. He talked about gameplay changes. That's confirmed that gameplay most likely won't be the same or they may tune a couple things that were wrong at the start of 2K19. So when I'm thinking, okay, you talked about gameplay, you're talking about parks being updated, you're talking about the neighborhood and that entire experience. And then he even goes to say that even with the people that play park, and all of that nonsense, they kind of want to stay true to the core of basketball. So I'm trying to think, are they going to be taking out park flashy passes? Are they going to be taking them out the park dunk packages? Are they going to be talking, taking away like taunts and everything like that? Like what's going to happen? Why, why are you saying that you want to go back to the core of basketball when the park is so goddamn fun? So I'm trying to figure out, if they're talking about all the things and exploits that people use in order to take advantage of the park and win games, or are they just talking in a sense of, well, we want to focus on the 2K League, we want to focus on competitive play. For all those arcadey players out there, yes, that'll still be there, but our main focus is going to be Pro-Am, Rec, you know what I mean? Building up the uh, Pro-Am roster, building up the 2K League and everything like that. But one thing that I can say, Ronnie, you know you messed up. Because this interview right here, oh man, it's one of those interviews where if you keep hitting a nail at a different angle, eventually you're going to hit it right on the head, right? So as she was talking about parks and, you know, everything like that, trying to get his words jumbled, a couple more things slipped out. Obviously, you know, some information you can't disclose, but I have to push and ask, is there going to be no, a you change? Keep pushing. Is there going to be any change that's going to be surprising to the community? I know you can't go into oh, details, you know, but mean, is there going to be any that's going to be a super surprise to the community? It wouldn't be an NBA 2K franchise unless every single year we had a massive innovation. I mean, uh, kudos to our incredible development team. We are always pushing the envelope. There's always something that's really exciting and stands out. You know, I talk about 2K10, we introduced career. 2K14 was next gen, and the, the first time you saw the park. And uh, 2K11, we had cruise. 2K15, we had the JRC and face scanning. You know, like, we're always continuing to push the envelope. 2K18, we had the neighborhood. Um, so I, I fully expect that, you know, there's going to be something massive that's going to be the next thing that everybody wants to play. And 
I, what's exciting about us is everybody talks about things from the past. You know, you, you mentioned affiliations, you mentioned stuff like that. What about the things that you can anticipate, right? Like we have some stuff that's coming that is going to just blow the minds of, of our fans like we do every single year. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see later you try. on. Hopefully, hopefully <laughs> we can. I got to try. I work in media. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully yeah, we fine. have you come back and uh, disclose some of that information right here on Cheddar Esports. But Ryan, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, hopefully we hear some news sometime soon. Yeah, I can't wait. NBA 2K20, just a couple months away. All right. With that being said, right, Ronnie specifically said about things we can anticipate. Things that we can see in the near future right here, right now. From that little teaser trailer that they dropped with Zion and the WNBA, you know for a fact two things. They're going to be focusing on that draft class, this free agency, with where he said the storyline about 200 players coming off the board and everything like that, as well as focusing in on the WNBA. But one thing that I can say that may blow people's mind that may or may not happen if anybody realizes we left face scanning from the playstation 4 camera and the xbox camera years ago they've actually been re-innovating that my nba 2k app every single year updating that and seeing what we can take from that i believe if they do this right one big innovative thing that they may do is bringing maybe body scanning with a cell phone or you could upload maybe your tattoos and everything like that now i'm not going to deep dive into hey what if they just had the wwe you know studio where you could just upload your faces your tattoos everything like that i'm not saying 2k is going to do that because 2k like he said they want to stay to the core of basketball they don't want to get too crazy in the customization which i believe they should have done a while back i mean you know they took out the kiosk where we had you know the ability to make our own t-shirts and everything like that but they did give a little bit of that power back to the crews on the park which is okay but as far as innovation goes i believe that the next thing that 2k may need to do is of course better events um as well as fixing a couple problems that are in the park which is like you know exploits and stuff like that but innovation is just so hard to speak on because we just don't know right now but i just wanted to make sure that i let y'all know that i'm on top of this news every time that ld2k ronnie 2k og constant mike wang like the czar like if anybody tweets anybody does an interview anybody marks a reply anything like that i am on top of it i've been watching ld for the last month and a half reply to little tweets telling the community that he hears them he sees he knows fixes are coming information is coming and it's like bro call my phone <laughs> because i want to know all the information so i can let you guys know but i hope that you enjoyed this video um this is one of those videos where we get a little bit of speculation but we also get some confirms and what you can take from this video is neighborhoods are returning but i'm not sure if the neighborhood will be multiple neighborhoods which would implement park affiliations now i'm also not sure if the rep system is going to change as far as the road to 99 because we haven't really seen any wording or any you know leaks or anything like that this is the road to 99 is gone I'm also not sure if becoming an elite three will even matter next year or if they're going to take it beyond that for actual rewards in repping up that uh, actual rep. But for the most part, I think that this right here was the best speculation that we can get within the first couple of days of the cover athlete dropping. It's good to see that they're actually doing interviews, even though it's mainly about the cover. Other gems and stuff like that are dropped, and we can actually listen about that. But take it from here. Neighborhoods are confirmed. The neighborhood is back, guys. And I, I know a lot of people really don't like the neighborhood. I mean, in my wish list, I, I said, why don't we just build a mall? And when you go inside that mall, you can do all the shopping you want. But when you come back to the neighborhood, it ain't nothing but courts. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't want to run around or ride a bike around 
the park. I want to ride my bike through the park. I want to ride a hoverboard through the park. I want a tiger next to me walking through the park. I want to be able to fly on a jetpack from the ones court to the twos court, from the fives court to the fours court. But that's just me because I'm still a consumer. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I made it lengthy, but what you want me to do? I'm a fan, man. I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on noties, and cop some merch. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.